Hello, good morning. Um, I'll, I'll start off with a quick background. My name is Don Murdoch. I am a Philadelphia police officer. I have been, in August, will be 23 years. Uh, 15 of those years, I've been fortunate enough to be a member of the SWAT unit, uh, full-time SWAT unit. We serve, like you said, we serve a lot of warrants. Um, February 11th, 2022, uh, I was part of like, it was probably a 17 or an 18 man team uh, to serve a warrant on a third story property. Um, it was an apartment on the third floor. So many people, because we had to secure the rest of the building also. Uh, I was first in with the shield, uh, open the door, go up two flights of steps, straight up, door was right in front of us. Uh, as we go up the steps, information, which is never right, was the door was gonna be open. Of course, when we get there, it's locked. Uh, it's a very narrow hallway. My partner was behind me, he had a breaching shotgun. Um, I tried the doorknob, it was locked, so he had to try to, to squeeze by me to breach the door. Couldn't fit. So I had the shield on the door, he can't fit by, I have to turn my body completely sideways. So I'm standing this way as he's, he's breaching the door. As he's breaching the door, I hear two pops, sound like gunfire, and I'm thinking in my, in my head, uh, he must be shooting out the window at people, you know, the front and rear containment. Um, on the third pop, I felt like a, like a quick, it felt like somebody just smacked me in the chest. Uh, I felt a little bit of a sting, traveled out, and then it was gone. I, I'm standing in the hallway and I'm, I'm thinking, did I just get shot? Like, that's what I think. And we had gas masks on because it was supposed to be a, a lab inside. So I couldn't look down. So I looked right in front of me, I could see a hole in the wall. I look off to my side and I could see drywall dust all over my shoulder. Uh, at the same time, I look at my partner and he's like, are you hit? I just nod my head. He grabs me and rips me down the steps. So we go down two flights of steps. Um, so a little bit of background in March of 2020. Uh, So we lost someone. A good friend of ours and colleague, and he was one of my supervisors. Same, same deal. He's going up the steps, guy shoots through a door on the side. It just happened to hit him that much above his vest under his arm. So I mean, I'm now I'm at the hospital, I feel fine. I, I, I really didn't even feel like I got shot because I didn't have a mark on me. Um his wife comes and his wife's there and who I'm very good friends with and she says, you know, Jimmy was with you. That's why your body was turned sideways. So, you know, there's a lot of people think shit happens for a reason, you know, and there was a reason that I turned sideways. Um, but the fact of the matter is I still got shot. And whether I was turned sideways or the other way, the bullet was only stopped by the hardwire plate, you know what I mean? So even though I was fortunate enough to be turned that way, we teach, I'm a firearms instructor and I teach thousands and thousands of hours. I've taught people, this is where you shoot. This is where you end the threat. Upper thoracic cavity, we call it. This is where all the good stuff is. Well, I got hit right there and it was a, a blind shot through a wall. So it was total luck, but I'm, I'm here standing here talking to you guys today because of what you do. So I want to thank you. You know, people, people thank police all the time, thank you for what you do. I wouldn't be standing here talking to you right now if it wasn't for you guys. All right.